Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today is the day. This has been a long awaited for and long asked for video on how to get Optifine with World Edit. For the longest time, this wasn't possible and I will basically start this video with a word of warning. You might have issues doing this. The thing is Optifine and Forge are both still in beta. And when you have two softwares and two specific mods and mod loaders and everything that are in beta, having them always work together is not gonna happen. But Optifine's developer is trying his best to keep it as compatible as possible with Forge. We've had four or five consecutive updates where Optifine has worked with Forge. So it's time for me to make a video since it's so requested. We're gonna be showing you how to do it today. First and foremost, though, we do have a much more sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Host. You can go to the first link down below to breakdown.xyz slash Apex. You get an incredible 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. We actually love Apex so much that we host our own server, play at our breakdowncraft.com on them. So if you want to start your very own Minecraft server for your friends to love and enjoy, check out Apex, the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. But you're not here for a server, you are here to get Optifine with Forge, so let's do it. The first step is going to the second link down below. This is actually our single player tutorial for Optifine, so you can kind of disregarded all we need to do once you're here is click on this green download optifine button that's going to take us off to the optifine download page where if you have in minecraft 1.16.2 here if it says 1.16.2 right here or anywhere down on this page if it says minecraft 1.16.2 you want to come over to the first version and click on mirror right However, if you're watching this video right as it came out within the first few weeks, you want to click on preview versions. Then you'll see Optifine 1.16.2 there. Again, if you see Minecraft 1.16.2 here, come over to the first version and click on mirror. However, if you don't see 1.16.2 here, click on preview versions where you'll find Optifine 1.16.2. You want to come over and click on the mirror button on 1.16.2 there. And then take us off to this page where you want to click on download preview underscore optifine 1.16.2 or download optifine 1.16.2 depending on when you're watching this video. The download for Optifine will begin automatically, and then in the bottom left, you want to go ahead and click on Keep. As long as it says Optifine in the title, which it does, it's safe to keep it. Now, Mozilla Firefox, you need to save it in the center of your screen. Now, we want to go over here to Forge, right, which is going to be the third link down below. That's going to take you here. This is our official Forge tutorial. This will work if you are going to get Optifine. This tutorial will work if we go a little too fast or something here, or you need some additional help. You can come here and go through this tutorial. However, once you're here, you just want to click on this green Download Forge button. That takes us off to Forge's official website, where we want to make sure MC 1.16.2 is selected. As we can see, it isn't. It says MC 1.15. That's not what we want. We want 1.16. So what we want to do is go over to the left-hand side, click on plus 1.16, and then click on 1.16.2. Now the tickets here where you can see MC 1.16.2 is selected, so we are now good to click on the installer under download latest. And then take us off to add focus where stop! Don't click anything on this page whatsoever. Not a single thing on this page except for the red skip button in the top right that appears after six seconds. So you want to click on that red skip button in the top right, and then in the bottom left on Google Chrome, you will have Forge Download. Now, Mozilla Firefox, it'll be in the center of your screen, but whatever you do, do not click a single download button on this page. The only thing that you want to do on this page is click on that red skip button in the top right. Once you've clicked on that, you can go ahead, keep Forge in the bottom left, and we can minimize our browser. Now, here on our desktop, we have Preview Optifine, or Optifine, whichever one you have, and if these aren't on your desktop, they're going to be in your Downloads folder to find that. Click the little Windows icon in the top left of my screen, bottom of your screen, click that little Windows icon, type in Downloads, you have the download file folder in Windows, and in here you will have Optifine and Forge. Drag them to your desktop just for ease of use. Now, if these don't look like my files, no worries. I'm going to show you how to fix that in a second. But first, let's see if we can open up Forge. To do that, you want to right-click on Forge, click on Open With, then if you have Java here, click on it and click OK, then wait a second in the Mod System Installer for Forge. However, if you don't have Java here, what do you do? Well, in that case, you want to go to the description down below and download this. This is Java for Minecraft Mods and Servers. Optifine being a Minecraft mod, we need this version of Java, so go through this simple three-step process to get it. After that point, you should be able to open up Forge. But if you can't, you need to run the JAR fix, which is also linked down in the description down below. And what this is going to do is take all the JAR files on your computer and link them up to Java once again, right like so. However, I say all of that to say this. If your files do not look like my files, they aren't these Java Coffee Cup logos, they're WinRAR book files, they're zip files, they're pieces of paper. If that's the case, getting Java and running the jar fix will fix that so your file should now look correct. Now we want to go ahead and right click on Forge, click on Open With, click on Java now that we have it, and click OK. 
Now we'll open up the mod system installer for Forge. We just want to click on install client and click OK. It's now going to install Forge, do everything that it needs to do to get Forge installed into Minecraft. Obviously, we're running Optifine with Forge, which will allow us to run Optifine with other Forge mods, by the way. So we want to get Forge installed. Once it's done installing, it'll say successfully installed Forge. Awesome. We can go ahead and click OK there, and it will close out of the mod system installer. Now we want to open up the Minecraft launcher, where once we're in the Minecraft launcher, we want to make sure we have the Forge profile selected. As you can see, it's auto-selected for me there, but if you don't have that, so you see latest release or something like that, something other than Forge in the bottom left, down here next to the play button, what you want to do is click on this little arrow here, click on Forge, and as long as it says 1.16.2-Forge under it, you can click play. But what if it doesn't? What if it says 1.15 or 1.12 or... What if you don't have a Forge profile at all? Well, in that case, you want to click on installations here. Then, once you've clicked on that, you want to click on the plus and new button. Then you can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Why am I naming it that? Because that is our own incredible Minecraft 1.16.2 server. It has amazing Greek protected survival. We have medieval survival with 30 custom quests and a player based economy, and aquatic survival with an amazing slash shop based economy. We've got factions, which is small team player based factions. Yes, 10 players in a faction and that's it and then that creates so much competition it's a fun time people love factions on breakdown craft and then we do have skyblock as well which is doing a huge update but it does have custom islands op enchantments 1.8 pvp and fence generators so come play this play.breakdowncraft.com is the ip now for the version here we want to click on this drop down box and then you want to find release 1.16.2 forge here it is for me up here at the top you may need to scroll down to find it down here towards the bottom but nevertheless Right up here at the top, it is for me, at least 1.16.2-Forge. We want to click on that, and then we're going to change our resolution to 1920 by 1080 You don't need to do that, but we are making a video here, and we want you to be able to see in-game, so that's why we're doing that. Now we're going to click on the green Create button in the bottom right, and here we have this new profile, play.breakdowncraft.com. Under that, it says 1.16.2-Forge. That means we can hover over and click on the green Play button to open up Minecraft and get Optifine installed. Now, from this point, the hard stuff is over. It's very, very easy to install Optifine from this point moving forward. The only weird thing is... It looks like when you install Optifine, Forge doesn't recognize it. And that freaks a lot of people out, but it is there, I promise. However, it's not there yet because we have not installed it. So, whenever you're on the Minecraft main menu, what do you do? Well, I introed that a little early and had to wait and do a quick jump cut while Minecraft finished. But now we are about on the Minecraft main menu. So, when you're on the Minecraft main menu, what do you do? Well, you click on mods, right? Just like any other Forge installation, you click on mods and then you click on open mods folder in the bottom left. Then, once you've opened your mods folder here, you just want to take Optifine, the Optifine file you downloaded, the direct download of Optifine, and drag and drop it into the mods folder. It's that simple. Take the Optifine folder you downloaded from Optifine.net and drag and drop it into the mods folder. Now, if you come back to Minecraft, it's not going to be here. If you go into, you know, options, video settings, shaders isn't there. None of the Optifine settings are there. How do you get those? Well, you're going to need to go ahead and quit the game, right? But first, go ahead and make our GUI bigger. But we're going to go ahead and quit the game. And then we need to open up the Minecraft launcher again. This time you don't need to worry about anything like you're making an installation. Just click on the installation you created or your Forge installation, whichever one says 1.16.2-Forge, and then click play. Now, <laughs> this is what's weird. On open up, it's going to say found two mod files to open. Now that's not normal. Normally it would say it's found the mod files that are associated. Like it would say it had found Optifine. You would have seen Optifine in there. You see Optifine here you never will. It's never going to show up, but it's installed. That is what sets Optifine apart from other Forge mods. Now, if we click on mods here, it's not here. Optifine's not there. It's just not there. You can install other mods, like if we installed just enough items, or if we installed, you know, Applied Energistics. With Optifine, those two would show up here, but Optifine never will. To get Optifine, you need to click on Options, Video Settings, and there you go. There's Optifine settings. We've got all the different graphic settings, the performance settings. We've got shaders, all of that stuff. I'm going to go ahead and sh turn on Continuum Shaders for you all with Forge to show you that this is working. So we've got this, right? We've got Forge. You can see Forge beta, mods, all that stuff. If we go ahead and jump in to our test world here, we will see that we have shaders installed with Forge. Boom. Mind's blown. <laughs> It is crazy. Whoa, those are bright shaders. Shaders actually have some bugs, it looks like. Whoa. Let's, let's change shaders packs. But nevertheless, that is Optifine and Forge installed together and working. There we go. Chaka Fix is uh, much better. But nevertheless, there you all have it. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Enjoy being able to run Minecraft mods with shaders or run Minecraft mods more efficiently. I will say one quick time that this is stunning. Wow. That's, that's thumbnail material right there, everybody. That is like thumbnail material.
I love that. But nevertheless, thank you all so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and enjoy your Optifine with Forge. And one thing I will say is that you uh, may have, you know, some issues with this, right? It is in beta, both Forge and Optifine. And when you have two softwares like that that are both in beta, there are going to be issues. Um, if you have any issues, you know, running these, we are using in this video. These are outdated and might not be able to be downloaded in the future, but Optifine G3 Pre 3 and we are using Forge version 33.0.20. Again, those might not be downloadable in the future, but at this very moment, as we're making this video, those are working together. But nevertheless, thank you all so, so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up. Enjoy Forge, enjoy Optifine together. Enjoy the awesome mods you can now play because of that. But nevertheless, my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Come play with us on PlayDarBreakdownCraft.com, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, and I am out. Peace.